fingers, fingers skate selective. Bing, 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 what up? It's Friday, June 1st, 2012. I am Frankie Finger. Dex. You're watching an all-new episode of Ask Frankie Friday. That's right. What up, homies? Thanks for tuning in for this episode of Ask Frankie Friday. So we've got a lot of your questions to answer. We're going to build a ramp in an all-new tape and box workshop, and we're going to read some Frankie mail. Yeah, yeah. But before we get into any of that, you already know we're going to check out some of your trick clips. Here we go with a clip from the homie Green Meckies. Okay. Alright, this is this week. What? Did you guys see that? Green Mackey snuck a clip in during homework time. Nice! Make sure your studies come first. But that was awesome, I gotta say. And right over here, I got a clip from Matthias Norden. Nar. And let's go ahead and check out one more. I got one right here from the homie SuperMaxP123. Yeah. Awesome. All right, just a quick heads up for you guys. You too can have one of your trick clips featured right here on FSS. All you have to do is email your trick clip along with your YouTube name to FSSTOTD at Yahoo.com. Yeah, yeah. All right, then, homies, you guys asked a lot of questions this past week, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's answer your questions. All right, the first question of the day is from the homie Ty Schmalsley. Frankie, my mom thinks that all fingerboard stuff is garbage and a waste of money. What should I do? That's a tough one there, Bubba. I guess you could do some extra chores and earn some extra money. Then you can go ahead and spend it however you want and she can't really say anything because you earned it. If that doesn't work, you could tell her that you have a goal to win the fingerboarding championships. But mother knows best. So yeah, good luck. Next one is from Cam Kane one Hey Frankie, when you first started fingerboarding, did you use a tech deck? Yes. Homemade and tech decks. You already know. Next one is from Fingerboarder1213. Frankie, have you ever tried flat face wheels? Definitely. I think I have 10 sets of flat face wheels now. I love them. They're great. G4s are my favorite. Then G6s. You cannot go wrong. They're very nice wheels. Next question is from Extreme People 96 How can I get good at nolly tricks? I know this might sound like an annoying answer, but the one true way to get better is just by practicing them over and over and over until you get them dialed in. Yeah, yeah. Alright, next one is from Ogsum Sean. What pizza do you like? Cheese? Pepperoni? Or combo? Yes. All of that. Just nothing gross like chovies. No chovies. Know what I'm saying? Next one is from Mega creative hands. Frankie, can we post video responses for you to use as trick clips? Shall we? You gotta email in your clips, otherwise I can't use them. Shall we? Next one is from Ultimate Toy Reviews 5. Frankie, do you know how many fingerboards you have? Now, do you mean custom completes? I believe I have 24 completes now that are all set up and complete. But wooden decks, I have a lot more uh, just laying around. And then if you're talking about complete tech decks, yikes. Too many. But I believe custom completes, I think I have 24 right now. Next one is from Ian Valdez. Do I have to do homework? School's over. Yes. FSS homework is now mandatory. Everyone has to do it. <laughs> Just season. No, you don't have to do FSS homework if you don't want to, but remember, you can't win if you don't participate. Next one is from YoYay3i4. When do you read Frankie Mail? I usually read Frankie Mail in Ask Frankie episodes. Not every episode, but that's when I read it is in Ask Frankie, and I will be reading some tonight. And the last question of the day here is from Eden Poganowski. What type of currency do you accept in Frankie mail. Now, I accept any type of current paper currency, as long as it's not old from the 50s or something. It's got to be currently in circulation. Has to be paper if it's foreign. No foreign coins at all. If you have U.S. coins, you can send them. But if you send U.S. coins, you must tape them to a piece of paper, fold the paper up, then put it in an envelope. You have to really secure them, otherwise they are gone. If you just throw them in an envelope, they're gone. You might as well throw them out your window and get it over with. So if you are going to send U.S coins, I repeat, tape them down flat to a piece of paper, then fold the piece of paper in on itself. You really got to secure the things. So it is what it is. But yes, I accept any type of paper currency. U.S. is the best. And what's easiest to cash in, I mean. All right. You already know. All right, guys. Thank you to everyone who asked the question. If you have a question for me, be sure to toss it below for next Friday's AFF. All right, guys. I've got my scissors, some tape, and a box. So you know what time it is. FSS is tape and box workshop. Shop. 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 What up, homies? Welcome to FSS's Tape and Box 
workshop. Today we're going to make a quarter pipe. Now, as you can see, we're not starting with a shoe box this time. This is a Black Forest Fruit Snacks box. These are very good, by the way. But anyway, as you can see, this box is almost the size of a cereal box. I, I believe it is a little bit thicker on the side, but a cereal box should work. But the key is, make a ramp however you want or however you think would be cool. So, this is just the way I'm doing mine. You can do yours different. I've also got scissors. Be very careful with scissors. And I've got an X-Acto knife. And be very, very careful with these because these will cut your finger right off. And I also got, of course, the tape. You already know. Alright, so I pretty much know what I want to do already. Since the top has been opened, I'm going to use the bottom, which is still sealed. And that's going to be the main platform of my quarter pipe since it's nice and sturdy. So first thing I'm going to do is start by cutting off the end flaps. Alright, so I cut all the flaps off the top of the box. Now all I have is an empty box. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do now on the back of the box here is figure out about how wide I want my platform to be on the top of my quarter pipe like the deck part and I think about this wide I'm not really gonna break out the tape measure or anything but about that wide now I'm gonna draw the transition or the curve right here and I'm just gonna use a sharpie start at about where you want the top of your deck to be so I've got my line drawn on there and don't worry about drawing on the other side I'm gonna show you what to do in a second now I'm gonna take my exacto knife and this you have to be very very careful you're not gonna be able to see this very good but now I'm trying to stay right on my line, which I'm not doing a very good job of, but as long as it's close, it'll come out okay. Alright, so now I have my line cut. I really got off the line there, but it's okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut from the top of my curve straight out along the edge, and from the bottom of my curve straight out along the edge. So this piece will come right off. Alright, so there's what I have so far. As you can see, my curve didn't really work out how I drew the line, but it's okay. So now, since I took this piece out, I can put it along the other side. Make sure the front is lined up. And once I have it lined up, that'll tell me right where to draw my line. So I'll take my Sharpie, and I'll draw right along that curved edge. And then once I take it away, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's right there. So now, I'm going to be very careful again and cut it with this. But now that I have that cut again, I'm going to cut from the top straight out and the bottom straight out. Alright, so now I got two pieces like this. Don't need those anymore. Then we have the box like this. Now, as you can see, this is pretty much ready to be folded down and taped. So, it's starting to look like a ramp. First thing I'm going to do is kind of bend it along that top edge just so I can get my crease along the top where my coping would be. And I better get a piece of tape ready. I'm going to get a pretty long piece of tape ready. I'm going to set it right there. Now that I have my crease along the top, I'm going to bend it down. Try to make sure that it's touching all the way along my curve there. Then I'm going to hold it with one hand. I'm going to get my tape ready. Fold it underneath. Kind of doing the hoppity hop. That's okay. Now before I tape anymore, I think I'm going to cut the bottom. See how the bottom flap comes up longer than the top since we curved the top down? I'm going to cut the top just back further than the top flap. Alright, so now the top part right here, I have the back or the bottom cut below the front. Now I'm just going to tape it a couple more places to tighten up this curve. It's starting to set a little bit more flat now that I have the curves taped up better. There I took even more material off the bottom flap. So now I'm going to go ahead and trim the top a little bit more just to shorten it up. It's not very straight. Let me try and straighten that out a bit. Alright, so there we go. I think when I sesh it, I'm just going to put a piece of tape half on the front and half on the table just so it's smooth riding onto it. But as you can see, pretty much a full quarter pipe with just barely any tape really I think three pieces so pretty cool seems pretty sturdy so hopefully this gives you guys an idea of what you can do maybe you could use a different size box or make a different style ramp a spine ramp would be cool but make one take a picture of it and send that picture along with your YouTube name to FSS pictures at yahoo.com and if I get enough pictures sent in during my next workshop I'll show the pictures of the ramps you guys made so that'll be pretty cool so hopefully this inspires you now I'm gonna go get it set up and try a couple tricks on it. Yeah, yeah. Frankie Finger Dead. <laughs>
FSS's Tape and Box Workshop. Shop. 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 Woo. Nice. Hopefully that inspired you guys to get creative and make your own fingerboard ramp or obstacle. Like I said, if you do make one, go ahead and send me a picture of it at fsspictures at yahoo.com along with your YouTube name. And like I said, if I get a few of them in my next workshop, I'll show the pictures of the ones you guys made. So make one. All right, homies, before we get into tonight's Frankie Mail, let's go ahead and check out a couple more of your trick clips. Here's one from the homie SkaterBoy43. FS, yes, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I got one right over here from the homie Zach Foster One. Sweet. Okay, let's do this. Let's read let's some read Frankie, Frankie mail. mail. The first one here is from my homie Eddie Scoots, who lives in Hong Kong. Eddie sent 16 US dollars. Very cool of him. He lives in Hong Kong, but he still sent US dollars. So I really appreciate that. It makes it a world easier for me. He says, Dear Frankie, my YouTube name is Eddie Scoots, and I'm your biggest fan. I have sent Frankie mail before, and I have quite a big order here. So can I please buy one FSS grippy tape, one FSS slippy tape, one crown pivot cups? Then he says, Thanks a lot. Your homie Edward. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Be on the lookout in the mail. Shout out to Eddie Scoots. Thank you for sending US money. That really helped out, buddy. Next one here is from the homie Chandler Stocks. He sent 10 bucks. He says, Hey Frankie, I sent you 10 bucks for an FSS chair and a surprise. I don't have a YouTube channel, but I will be making one. Thanks, Chandler. And he also said, Please put this in Frankie mail. And he says, P.S. Sorry for the tiny card. He wrote it on a tiny card. But look at this picture he sent in. Gnarly. I'm definitely going to scan that and it'll be up on the Frankie frame next time. So that's really, really cool. Shout out to the homie Chandler. Be on the lookout in the mail. You already know. And the last one here is from my homie Jules who lives in Singapore. He sent four Singapore dollars and he writes, Yo Frankie, what up? Could I buy a pack of slippy tape please? Your vids are awesome. My YouTube username is fingerboardfreak4445. Could I get a shout out? P.S. Can I get a signed pic? I'm sorry, but those are all gone now, but I am working on getting more pictures. P.P.S. Could you show this on AFF? You already know. Then he says there's a surprise on the back, and what it is is a picture. That is very, very awesome. I'm also going to scan that picture and put it up on the Frankie frame, so be on the lookout for that. So I got to give a shout out to Resident Evil 4445, Chandler Stocks, and Eddie Scoots. Thank you guys for sending Frankie mail. I appreciate it. Be on the lookout in the mail. Also, I have to say thank you to everyone who sent in Frankie mail for real. If you would like to send in Frankie mail and or buy an FSS product, you can pause the video right now to see what's available. Then send your mail to Frankie Finger Dex, P.O. Box 256, Beverly Shores, Indiana, 46301, USA. All right, then, Bubbles and Bubettes, I'm sure you guys know what you got to do by now, right? No? All right. Email your trick clips to be featured right here on FSS. While you're at it, email your JPEG pictures for the Frankie frame and represent, represent, resent. Send in your Frankie mail and or buy an FSS product. Make sure you ask a question for next week's Ask Frankie episode. Build a ramp. Send me a picture of it. Make sure you guys tune in on Tuesday for the next FSS homework assignment. Thank you guys for watching and supporting FSS. I really appreciate it. Now very gently without cracking your screen. Brr up there, brr up, brr up. I will see you guys sooner than later. Ring.